It is time to open this fantastic set after Dark Neil Noir Cinema Collection 2. And the first movie in that set is number 178 in the imprint range, and that is Blue Steel from 1990. Jamie Lee Curtis stars as Megan Turner, a, a kind of rookie police officer. We just see her passing her graduation. It's her first day on the job. Um, she happens to notice a convenience robbery and goes in there. Her partner's indisposed. She draws her weapon. Um, the criminal, played by Tom Sizemore, uh, is uh, tweaking a little bit and it results in her having to shoot him. I said put the gun down now! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> One of the patrons of the convenience store, Ron Silver, is lying on the ground. The criminal's gun falls near him and he decides to take it. Kind of slinking away before the rest of the police turn up to investigate everybody that's there. Megan is then suspended from the force because there's no weapon there. Nobody else can really 100% uh, recall seeing a gun but there's no proof of it anyway but Ron Silver has this gun and uh, he plays a character of Eugene who is someone that is severely damaged uh, and believes that they are now a godlike figure because they have the ability to take life from people and we watch this character slowly unravel as he starts to prowl the streets killing people carving the name of Megan Turner onto the bullet casings that he is firing wasn't so bold, it would be stupid. Wish all homicides were this easy. Give me an answer to this. This movie goes in places that I really was not expecting, and it is truly surprising and thrilling, and really uh, pushes the envelope on some of the things that it does, particularly later on in the film, uh, which I think was fantastic. And I don't want to go into too much of the plot here because I really do feel that it's one that you want to watch because it's so surprising and takes so many turns. You know, within the first 20 minutes, whatever, you have uh, our character being suspended with Ron Silver got the gun and starting to feel like he can just walk about shooting people. And there's still a good chunk of the movie to go. And where it goes is just truly fantastic. Freeze! He told me to hold the thing, but it's a piece of shit flashlight. One of my favourite characters is Nick, a detective, homicide detective, played by Clancy Brown. Now, it's not often you see Clancy Brown as a good guy in films, but here, he is just fantastic. Um, I really like him a lot. He's just charismatic, likeable, uh, just a wonderful character to pop up here. Jamie Lee Curtis is, as always, fantastic. Showing this character who is excited, naive, afraid, um, worried who's dealing with things going on in their personal life, even if the personal life substory is a little bit forced in later on, I still kind of appreciated it. But this is a tense, thrilling movie that goes to some deep, dark places later on. You are God, Eugene. There is a, a moment that could be very hokey, depending on how you read it, where uh, Eugene is working out and he starts to hear voices, um, which, because of the performance, I think it sells it, but I could understand this being almost laughable in the hands of other actors, but I do kind of like it here. Um, the character of Eugene is such a wonderful bad guy because he is losing his grip on sanity, yet still being incredibly intelligent, enough to think several steps ahead. He is always ahead of Megan, Nick, the rest of the police force. Um, he is always using his power and money to protect himself. Detective, can I see your warrant? Huh? What the hell's going on here? Huh? Breaking and entering, searching without a warrant, harassment. Oh, detective, your history more than uh, he possibly should be and uh, getting away with certain situations. This is a character who almost is acting as if he has nothing to lose and becomes very dangerous because of that. I, I really, I really like this one a lot and, and there's a moment near the end 
with an attack on Jamie Lee Curtis by Eugene, which was truly shocking, uh, surprising, a little bit icky as well. <laughs> This is a thrilling neo-noir, fantastic uh, in every way. Great performances, great story, just that little bit seedy and, and icky feeling at the right times, full of great tense moments and a horrible bad guy to root against, one that you're hoping that they're going to overcome and stop him. I thought Blue Steel was absolutely fantastic. It's been decades since I saw it. I can highly recommend it. And suggest checking it out. Fantastic, great. I'd love to know your thoughts on Blue Steel if you've seen it. Did you love it? Hate it? Fall somewhere in the middle? Let me know in the comment box below and while you're down there. Hit the like button because it really helps these videos and there is more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.